My chapter is looking at how the identity of Ireland has been conflated with the image of the Irish cottage or cabin as it used to be called in the 18th century. And well there's this very important travel writer called Arthur Young who wrote this very important tour guide, Tour of Ireland 1776 to 1779 and it's arguably the most important tour guide that was ever written about Ireland and it had a huge impact across Europe and he used uh, an image of a kind of decrepit, weed-covered Irish cabin to represent Ireland to the whole of Europe. Um, and I'm fascinated that he did that and that he chose uh, a cabin, the Irish cabin he called it, um, instead of a great house or a, a, the Four Courts or a James Gandon building or part of Dublin or Cork, he, he chose this decrepit cabin to represent country. Um, and by doing that, because it was the most important tour guide, um, that became the image of Ireland and you can track that image and its power um, from around what I do it from the end of the 17th century all the way up to the present day when we still have these images representing Ireland in all our tourist literature. My findings were that it is possible to write a history of the perception of Ireland as a cottage. Um, if you broaden the sources to include the kind of building professional sources as well um, and then if you stick quite closely to the image or the representation of Ireland, which continues to be a cottage in the landscape. Mm -hmm.